Hello and welcome to the Cat Collective. And that's Major Tom. Yes. And uh, I'm me. I'm Nina. I'm the channel for this channel. And <clears throat> let's start. If you're wondering why my noise is a bit weird, um, I've got the flu. <laughs> Animals. Oh, love. Hmm, bottom of the deck is empowerment. That's interesting. Oh, my heart feels like this. It's interesting how the reading always, like the readings, they always turn out the way. Think they would no no yes and layers oh magic oh yeah and the spiral <laughs> oh Oh, I'm getting sad. <laughs> so melancholic these these days. Um, I think you you have your eye on someone, right? You love them so much. You love them. you love them so much. You look at them. And, uh, you love them so much. <laughs> I'm getting sad. It's just. You know, uh, loving a stranger from a distance type of thing. It's not. I don't think that you know this person. It could also. What? What? <sighs> this cat. It's just a no. I cannot talk. If he's interrupting me all the time, what do you want? Let me close the door. Okay, so now that he said his five cents, right? Uh, uh, so I think you love them so much. Now I'm at least not that sad anymore. That's good. Thanks, Major Tom. Yeah. Um, yeah, you love them so much that you uh, feel sad, but you don't know them. I think it not really you're just looking at them from a distance and i think this is a pattern for you you've done that before loving people up <laughs> um yeah you you see their beauty you know you look at them and you see they are beautiful but what i'm also getting is um that because of the fear card this is the fear card and the layers it's like and this is the access card you know you get access to a land with the green card green card right but in this case i think it's also access to a person and i think you are at the point where you think that this beautiful person will get someone else you don't believe in love anymore and in I think that's the fear that came up. I think before that, when you were just looking at people and loving them up, you were so convinced that it will happen. But now you're like crying before anything even happens. You're already questioning, you know, it's like, well, that's not for me, right? You give up. You, you give up before it even starts. Right? You see their beauty, but you then see someone else maybe also, and you say, well, if you compare them, the other person, I think this looks like the other person almost, like you compare them with you and you're like,
You don't see your own beauty. Yeah, you see others, right? You, you look at them and you're like, you love them. But in the end, you're just with the animals alone, right? Every every other, you know, even that's a problem. So if you are loving someone up from a distance and you're putting them on a pedestal and you're loving them so much and you are comparing yourself to other people that you might see that you think that could, which could be a better match for them, maybe even because you are not this and that, right? It, it has a few major problems and those are, for one, if you are giving your heart away to someone you don't know, you know, for example, you see someone online and you love them up, you, where's something for you? You're giving your love away to a stranger who doesn't even know about it and doesn't even need it probably right you're just giving your love away and by giving your love away you are also occupying your heart for the real thing to come in you know you cannot flow freely your heart is always occupied with someone you know there's always someone having access because you're giving your card away all the time. You're giving it away. And your heart is always somewhere else. And it's not prepared when, in case you do live and you do love someone up in real life, right? Or maybe, maybe you won't even do that because your heart is occupied can happen that you that this ca causes the issue right but is it a bad trait you, you ask yourself right I think it's something that comes easier when you are living in social isolation right because when you're alone on your phone and you scroll through the internet right and you look people up and you see some people and you, you love them it's easier to do that than to do it in real life when you meet them in a real when you have a real encounter with them right because it's you can make so much up in your head in your in your heart also in your daydreams you're imagining maybe in real life it would be totally different you don't know, but you're just living in your dream world. The magical world, right? In a way, I think you would like to it to be the truth eventually. Yeah, it's something about them that you just cannot escape from. But is it really about love? That's what I'm questioning you know because like this this is the pineal gland also so it could be that you also have dream experiences with them that makes it even more profound right um but um yes so cute cat yes you're cute he's so cute he's really cute trust me he's cute yes you're cute if you continue to lay down there, I will pick you up and put you in the reading. Yes, I will do that, even though you are a heavy cat. Yes, he is a heavy cat. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, you know, so, because sometimes, you know, when we fall for people, uh, we do that also uh, because they've got something that we want to have. You know, imagining someone uh, being with you and stuff like that. Um, there's something about it, you know, this attraction. There's this attraction. When there's this attraction, there's something... Um, it's not It's not really conscious in a way. Or maybe it is it. 
it's just something I'm seeing, you know, sometimes when we, for example, especially online, when we have all this, uh, where we, where we build our own brands, where we build our own, who we are, right? Um, it could be that there's something about them that you find so very attractive that is something that you would like to live, but you don't have the courage to, maybe? Think about that. It's just something I'm getting. Um, and I think you are currently now at a point where you are also suffering a bit um, because you know that this is not healthy to do that because if your heart is not free, you cannot experience life fully. If you are always acting like you are in love with someone, you know, if you're always having your eyes closed and uh, loving someone from a distance in your head with your closed eyes and just like that you for one will you don't see the reality of things you don't see the real person involved there right you don't see them like you see their beauty from a distance and everything but you don't see uh, when you especially online you don't see the wholeness of them you know you didn't spend a week with them alone somewhere right no you didn't do that it's a bit like looking at an animal in a, in a zoo right <laughs> looking at them um from a distance yeah from a distance everything might be nicer but is it really that's the question also the other people that you observe it's just something i'm getting so there was someone wants to be in the reading huh no Come here. You didn't shut, shut up, so you, you get your elevator straight into the reading room. There we go. You look, look at this furry cat. There's fur. Okay, so, Mao, right? Yes. Yeah, you don't like that, right? So, that's Major Tom, a uh, part of him, at least. I'm sorry, you cannot really see him, but yeah. Yes. So that's him. Maybe we can uh, have a look if he's got some fleece somewhere. Uh, he shouldn't have though. So good, he's purring. Do you hear that? Yes. Oh, Mao. Oh, Mao. Yeah, so now he likes that. Okay, so um, there's, there's just the issue, you know, because a real love that you can touch like this cute cat oh, and sniff. Also like this fluffy cat. Uh, I'm not good at sniffing at the moment because of the flu, but nonetheless, right? Can never get enough of good cat cat sniffs, right? There's something about it. Um, that's nice. But on the other hand, uh, I think that's also is there in this pattern of loving someone from a distance something about not having them close that is actually beneficial for you. That's what I'm asking myself too. Because if you love people from a distance, you don't have them close, right? You don't experience a real relationship, just in your head, right? But you're suffering a bit, right? Because you miss having a real relationship. But on the other hand, it's also, ah, it's a spiral. Like like that, right? That spiral. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're going on the floor. Wait, I'm going to put you to bed. Did you get enough it attention now? Yes, I hope so. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's a spiral, right? Hmm. I'm wondering, you know that this is not healthy. You are, but it's like, it's escape, escapism. It's a, it's a form of escapism and magic. It's like, for you, it's, put some something magical into uh, something that is not magical, you know, when you're having a boring life, right? But I think this time uh, it f went for you a bit further because you really hoped that it would help. It would become reality, I think, at some point, you know. Um, it's not, I think it's more this, um, yeah. And this caused 
you to feel even a real heartbreak even though nothing has happened and that's the weirdest thing so it's a, it's a totally one-sided um relationship totally one-sided and it's not healthy at all um and i think um it's at the point um where you need to realize that um what you're doing there is uh causing you harm uh, it's causing you uh you're not living and you know that you know you know i think you you know that it's just uh, an escapism it's like it's also something i i got reminded of um when i um first found out about astral projection again i forgot it for years and then i found out about it and i really wanted to do it so badly until i realized oh do you know what? That's also just a form of escapism. I wish I could just escape my current life. And then it now it gets gets also foundational because it's this you look at the mirror of yourself and you look at yourself and you look at your life and you look at everything and you are realizing what he said and you hate your life. You are not living your life. You are just dreaming it away. You are living in a fantasy world. And it's not reality. And that hurts, doesn't it? Let's see how, if, if we can get more. You know, it's not. I'm not saying don't do that. Not at all. It's just that um, I think it, especially with the lockdown and uh, with everything that ha you know, this whole social isolation thing. It's this. Are you really living? It's a warning. It's a warning. It's a. Obstacles. Yeah. Opportunity. Metox. Yeah, you need um Yeah you need you need to um see that right with all the eyes on the caterpillar that uh you know you're stacking together something that into a fantasy um world that doesn't really reflect your real life at all right as much as you love them they don't even know who you are and what are you doing actually what are you doing you're feeling real emotions for people who don't even know you it's because you are living in a dark Place, right your life is feeling dark you you don't see the like you see uh, this is the light in a way you know there's some magic but look this is a big print printing error in the middle of the card and i think that's the printing error i was um, told guided to point you uh you uh, you know it's this yeah you need to repair yourself me talks right repairing the body mind and spirit and look at all the figures there right those are some fantasy figures and it's not that bad right it's okay in your, to live in your fantasy world it's totally okay it's just this well if it doesn't become reality do you really just want to live there or or your life i mean it's a conscious decision that that you can make but how does it come? And it, this card was the bottom of the deck. And it's this the courage to step into life, um, perfect storm. This also means that you might have, uh, you might be almost afraid now to live a real life, right? Or it might be a bit too overwhelming also, 
to live your whole life after you know if you have been isolated for many years now we can t say that a lot of people experience that normal life can be very overwhelming and it can be so overwhelming that you don't want to live the normal life right and there's a spiral again right But you deserve real life magic, right? It's just the guidance from the cards is that um, all this, all those bubbles and the friends that you have that you cannot touch. Yeah, it's nice, but is it is it really enough for you? Because in this lifetime where we are now it's uh it's not the essence of life right it's not how we are supposed to use our bodies right and how we are supposed to use our emotions you cannot love someone up and give away our most beautiful gift to avoid Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna pull a homology card. Let's see. I'm not shoveling, I'm just pulling one this time. I don't know why. <laughs> Lock is on your side. Oh, look at that. See? That's nice. I don't think I ever had that. Did I? Did I ever pull it on this channel so far? I'm not sure. So that's a very special card. And it's an arrow. Hmm. It's almost love, right? And there's magic. And this is also magic, major arcana. It's, I'm not saying don't do it, you know. I'm just saying if you are doing it to the point where you cry about a relationship that never happened, you know, it's time to... Yeah, to experience life again, right? Find the courage to step into life. Yeah, so uh, oh, um, let's see who this reading is for. Oh, one last card to wrap it all up is uh, everything is going to be okay because I think it's it's not the nicest message I ever brought and uh, like put on this channel, but I hope it helped. Um, additional info is in the litter box below. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.